I hate Keith Hernandez. Hate him. I despise him. <laughs> why? I'll tell you why. No, let me tell it. No, you can't tell you it. You always tell it. All right, tell it. I'll tell it. Just tell it. June 14th. 1987, Mets, Phillies, were enjoying a beautiful afternoon in the right field stands when a crucial Hernandez error opens the door to a five-run Phillies ninth, cost the Mets the game. Our day was ruined. <laughs> there was a lot of people, you know, they're waiting by the players' parking lot. Now, we're coming down the ramp. Newman was in front of me. Hernandez was coming toward us. As he passes us, Newman turns and says, nice game, pretty boy. <laughs> Hernandez continued past us up the ramp. Then, a second later, something happened that changed us in a very deep and profound way from that day forward. What was it? He spit on us. <laughs> and I screamed out, I'm it! <laughs> then I turned and the spit ricocheted off him and it hit me. Wow, what a story. Yeah. Unfortunately, the immutable laws of physics contradict the whole premise of your account. Allow me to reconstruct this, if I may, for Miss Bennis, as I've heard this story a number of times. Newman, Kramer, if you'll indulge me. According to your story, Hernandez passes you and starts walking up the ramp. Mm -hmm. Then you say you were struck on the right temple. The spit then proceeds to ricochet off the temple, striking Newman between the third and the fourth rib. The spit then came off the rib, made a right turn, hitting Newman in the right wrist, causing him to drop his baseball cap. The spit then splashed off the wrist, pauses in midair, mind you, makes a left turn, and lands on Newman's left thigh. That is one magic loogie. Well, that's the way it happened. What happened to your head when you got hit? Well, uh, uh, my head went back to the left. Say that again. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that the spit could not have come from behind. <laughs> that there had to have been a second spitter. <laughs> behind the bushes on the gravelly road. If the spitter was behind you as you claim, that would have caused your head to pitch forward. So the spit could have only come from the front and to the right. But that's not what they would have you believe. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Oh, you don't remember me. <laughs> no, should I? Uh, yeah, 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 you should. Because I certainly remember you. Let me refresh your memory. June 14th, 1987. Mets, Phillies, you made a big error, cost the Mets the game. Then you're coming up the parking lot ramp. You said, nice game, pretty boy. Ah, you remember. And then you spit on us. Hey, I didn't spit at you. Oh, yeah, right. No, 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 well, then, then who was it? Well, look, at the way I remember it, I was walking up the ramp, I was upset about the game. That's when you called me pretty boy. Okay. That ticked me off. I was starting to turn around to say something. And as I turned around, I saw Roger McDowell behind the bushes over by that gravelly road. <laughs> anyway, he was talking to someone, and they were pointing at you. I tried to scream out, but it was too late. It was already on its way. <laughs> told you. Wow. It was McDowell. But why? Why McDowell? Well, maybe because we were sitting in the right field stands cursing at him in the bullpen all game. He must have caught a glimpse of us when I poured that beer on his head. It was McDowell. 
Oh, boy. 